Hello, I'm Yogi Stillness, and thank you for joining us. I'll be your guide in today's meditation. Today we'll explore how being kind to ourselves starts with how we talk to ourselves. Begin by sitting on a cushion or in a chair. Close your eyes and turn your attention to your breathing, flowing in and out of your body. With that awareness, let's take three deep breaths together. Start by taking a long, slow inhale and hold it in. Then make a full exhale. Take an even deeper breath in, hold it, and a full breath out. One last deep inhale, hold it, and a complete exhale letting go of all of your breath. As your body and breath start to relax, begin to focus on your thoughts, trying to hear every thought that floats through your mind. Notice how some are louder and some are fainter. Notice how one prominent thought may connect to several fuzzier ideas, memories, feelings, and other thoughts. At some points, you may hear an inner dialogue almost like a part of your mind is speaking to you. This dialogue is where you may hear the words you were considering saying out loud, a debate about a decision you need to make, and justifications for choices you've already made. Sharpen your focus on this dialogue, trying to watch what you say to yourself. Continue listening to your mind as if it is speaking to you for a few more minutes silently. Feel the body and breath, locating yourself in space. Tune in again to the inner voice. Unlike your thoughts in general, your inner voice is something you can control to a certain degree, just as you can conjure up images in your mind. Start speaking to yourself with encouragement now. If there is something you've been worried about or feeling bad about, talk to yourself with kindness. Speak honestly, but kindly, encouraging yourself the way you would a friend or a child. This requires being mindful of how you feel and working to process those feelings. Continue working with a kind inner voice for a few moments silently.
wherever your mind has drifted off to. Return your focus to the balance of the inhale and exhale. Throughout our lives, our shifting moods make us behave in certain ways. We might become less patient when we are having a hard day or become more selfish when we're feeling deprived. And while we can, with a little practice, become more restrained and learn not to take our emotions out on others, it can be much more challenging to be kind to ourselves when we're feeling low. Everyone has an inner dialogue running through their thoughts. Our inner dialogues are not the entirety of our thoughts. They are often the easiest for us to notice, the loudest voice, and the hardest to ignore. In essence, this voice is talking to ourselves the same way we might talk to someone else. And that inner voice can take on different moods, sometimes without us even noticing. If someone takes their emotion out on us, we might choose to distance ourselves from that negativity. But when we are unkind to ourselves, there is no option to escape. We will always have to listen to ourselves. And with mindfulness, we can switch the tune of our inner voices to have more kindness. Kindness is grounded in mindfulness. Whether it is towards ourselves or others, kindness may come easier through awareness and presence. It's a balance of being honest and making our words helpful and compassionate, whether acknowledging mistakes or processing disappointments. When our inner dialogue is speaking to us, we can benefit from listening to what we are saying and how we are saying it. If our experiences are sowing self-doubt or anxiety, we can use mindfulness to become aware of how those experiences emotionally affect us. And if those emotions manifest in unkind words towards ourselves, we can work to find more mindful ways to speak to ourselves. Just like we would comfort a friend in a moment of distress, mindfulness can allow us to be honest and kind in our inner voices instead of pretending everything is great. Whether things go our way or not, we can still build our self-worth through our inner dialogue the same way we would want the support of a dear friend by our side in tough times. As our inner voices have the power to tear us down, they have an equally powerful ability to uplift us. Come back into your body now. Interlace your fingers and stretch your arms overhead. Turn your palms up toward the sky and stretch here for one more breath. Then release your hands down. Take a final cleansing inhale and hold it and let it go slowly. Allow your eyes to open when you're ready. Thank you for showing up for yourself in this practice today. We are so grateful for the opportunity to support you in self-care and look forward to meeting here again tomorrow.